Hi guys, um, I am on a cruise ship right now and I just uh, made, um, this is my second video. The first video was um, featuring my um, recently purchased carved bone um, bangles that I bought from, um, from Belize. And um, this time I have alpaca pieces i only bought four alpaca pieces from um cosimo and um i thought of just doing a random <coughs> uh, jewelry collection um uh these are featuring silver or 925 um uh jewelry that i brought with me on the cruise okay so I am doing a back-to-back -back cruise. It's a seven-day Eastern and then seven days a Western Caribbean. Well, um, last year, uh, November of 2022, I was here also for 21 days and now I'm doing only 14 days. Okay, so let's start off with, <clears throat> with this piece. Okay, guys, this piece is an alpaca silver. So, an alpaca normally is very, very dubio, dubious. <laughs> it's like a con for um, nine to five. So it's not, um, it's not silver. However, um, this is a, they said that it's a durable uh, material and it's, a, it's an ideal um, material for jewelry making so it has like an abalone 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 um shell here for some reason guys my skin on the ship i think it must be the water it just makes it super dry and i i have not even put on any lotion so as you can see and it has like a this l lies flat there you go Next is another alpaca. Um, I think they do tarnish, but even if they do tarnish, they still they do look like silver when they tarnish. So I've heard one YouTuber say that uh, she does not uh, polish her silver jewelry that often because she likes the patina, the uh, vintage uh, look of it. Okay, I got two similar ones, guys. Um, because it was on sale i saw this already i saw these bracelets already i think november last year <clears throat> and then i did not get any but they were priced at five dollars each and um this one i love it it's like yeah silver it's um yeah it's mexico of course it's head show i think I think that's what it says. Made in Mexico. Yes, there you go. And I got another piece because you can actually uh, wear them both. So it would uh, you know, create a very, very um, bold look statement piece if you want it wider. That's what I think this can be um, worn by men because I think it's more, but, but of course, guys won't wear anything like this. They only like the um, very thin uh, <coughs> bracelets all right so i have been loving silver recently because of my visit in mexico um, that has actually awakened my love of uh, silver um I, I wish i i had been you know um collecting silver years ago because i used to work on cruise ships before for five years and um mexico was our uh, you know, one of our um, very, very regular ports from Cozumel, Costa Maya to there, there are a lot of uh, Mexican ports that I've been to <coughs> uh, in the past. But anyway, I bought this off on eBay. I think I only paid 40 bucks or less for this. I was surprised to see how small the beads were. And um, yeah, because uh, when I saw it in the pictures, it was like... All right, Th these are tiny, tiny, tiny beads. So I think um, I paid, I'm not sure if it's 20, 25, 30, or less than 40. All right, next would be um, this. So I, I like the pink, uh, pink um, 
uh, stone over there. I do have, I have been buying a lot of Mexican uh, bracelets and bangles um, on eBay. They're actually uh, less expensive than buying them here in uh, Mexico because, of course, it's tourist price. So, there. so it says there, Mexico 925 there. But look at that. I don't know why it's it's very abrasive on that side. I don't I already dipped this in the um thingy and it's still not I still couldn't remove that. It looks like rust. I don't know. But it says silver and this is extremely heavy. So um yeah. It's nine two five. Anyway, next is this. This grape grapefruit leaf grape leaf. Yeah um there there are a lot on ebay but uh the mexico stamp is like co covered so i don't even know where the 925 is but you can see i'm not even sure if this is 925 guys but it has to be because there are a lot of uh, similar um bracelets <coughs> exactly the same style but it just says Mexico, so I don't know. Maybe it says 925 somewhere over there, but it's like, what a weird way to have this, you know. <laughs> okay, next would be this. I like this. I call this my Zorro. I think I paid 20 bucks for this. And this one, maybe 25 or 30 for this. Guys, let me just tell you the prices here. They're crazy. And um, the price of a single thing, that depends on the grams, and of course the style and i've been looking at them just the plane without any stones they're like a minimum of a hundred dollars and then way up work work your way up so they're expensive this is one of my favorites it's actually very snugged on my um on my uh yeah wrist and it says um What does it say exactly? It's nine to five, and um, yeah, it, this is also the tennis tennis ball bangle, and it's really really nice. Yeah. And next is this. I love this wavy. I love this wavy um, bangle. These are more than one hundred dollars here, guys. They're very expensive, and it says TLL. I guess it's TLL over there i've been bidding on ebay guys um so that's why i have <laughs> and then this one i've had it in my collection uh, for a long time and i think i only paid five or twenty bucks for this i must have bought it from from a, either a thrift shop or uh from the flea market i can't remember exactly where i got this but it's, it's weird because i know exactly where each piece comes from and i like this because it's braided and it's just really really very uh, neat classic looking next would be this okay this one i've had it for like probably three years already and uh, i think i bought i'm not sure if it's from ebay or from from uh from flea market or a thrift shop and it is J's, JGD. I think this, I, this was from a Boca thrift shop. So I, this was probably like uh, 5 to $10. It's very, very, um, it's very, very weighty. And it has a very thick, you know, yeah. Yeah, it just dries my skin, guys. The water there. And I have, I, 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 for some reason, I, I have not been used. I forgot my hand lotion. <laughs> because when you're on the ship everything every time you touch something you have to purel you have to wash your hands all the time so it's like on every deck every time every you know with all the pandemic and all that so this is i think carnelian so i've had this that i picked up a long time ago and then it so happened then when that when i was on bidding on ebay i wanted this i was like oh that it looks exactly like my thing and I didn't know, you know, I just like this. I also have another silver uh, with the same stone, uh, blue stone, but I dropped it. And it got, um, you know, I have to replace the stone because I dropped it and it just broke into pieces. Anyway, I love this. It's very, very snug. It's C-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L
C11 Mexico. So I really love Mexican silver. I think there's they are the number one silver jewelry artisans. Yeah. And they said that also uh, Italy, when I was in Italy, they had silver too. And I think Israel also has it. Now, my favorite, of course, one of these is this. This is very, very chunky. I think I paid $55 for this. Um, it has like a a big diamond. It's not, it's not a diamond, of course. It's like, what do you call those um, imitation stones again? <sighs> okay. Why am I even featuring this? Because... Uh, I think I will make a video. It's very interesting. I will make a video featuring the jewelry, all the jewelry that um, I brought with me on a cruise, on a two-week cruise. So, so far, I have just been, um, you know, um, wearing my silver. I just love silver. Okay, so uh, who is this by? Okay, so CLL. No, it's not CLL. It's uh, somebody else. Yeah, because they have the number one producing thing here is Taxco, I guess. And I have another silver that I am wearing, but I cannot remove it at the moment. My earrings, it's a hoop earrings. It's an antique or vintage piece. It's like a goat and it's a hoop earring. And I paid, I think, um, 25 or 30 bucks from the flea market. All right, there's another one. This one is from Israel. It says Israel 925. And um, this is really, really nice. Next would be, um, I bought four pairs of silver earrings uh, from TJ Maxx. I think they were like $20, $25 each. And this is by, um, who is this by again? There's a name. It's Amy. Is it Amy? I forgot the name, guys. But um, they're very, very affordable silver. Uh, I, I bought like four different styles. Right. Next would be this that I got from the flea market last year. It is two tone, and it's one of my favorites. And this is, I think, oh jeez, um, this is nine two five. And at the same time, uh, look at that sign. There's like a an, a symbol there, and I I love this kind of pierced backing. Yeah, and this is huge. I've been wearing it, guys. Uh, next would be these two rings that I bought. They're both silver. I bought from the flea market. These were expensive. This was like $35 from the flea market. Now, um, it's the, is it Taxco? It's TLL122 Mexico. Okay, you can see. As you can see. Okay, now what happened was this used, the blue stone used to be um more polished and shinier but what happened was i dipped this in the um silver liquid cleaner because this and then it just turned the stone into white but i'm not sure uh, for some reason it's coming out now i mean it's getting better so uh it, it turned white guys so at least this one is like turning blue already so maybe i don't know what happened there it's not the oxidation i don't know but anyway this is one of my favorites and i always wear this looks like i'm not sure if it's carnelian but uh the seller was telling me the flea market that this was like what piece was that she was talking about and i did some research when i came home and um she was right uh, the thing is this is a very very this is a very funny size i would say because it's too small for my fourth finger and it's too big for my fifth finger so i went to the mall and they put the ring adjuster there so i just prefer to wear it on my pinky this one too is also very small so i'm where i'm going to wear it on my fifth yeah now uh, i have this this was a gift from my husband's aunt and this was made in england and i think that's amethyst yeah because the jeweler told me it's amethyst so i'm not sure if this is silver i cannot read it looks like it but it could be a uh, white gold i'm not sure <laughs> uh, i don't know why it's here because they're like silver toned uh, jewelry that i brought with me so there you go and this is from england 
And this one, uh, let me just tell you a story about this, okay? So I was wearing this when I went out in Cosmo. So if you've been to the Cosmo Ports, they have a lot of silver shops lined up. It's just one silver shop after another, after another, after another. So you go crazy when you like silver, okay? So I was, I got this, guys, for probably 15 or 10 bucks from the flea market. I just got this um, not too long ago. Okay, so I was wearing this, and then the the store owner, or there's a lot of them, they just kept looking at my ring. And then the store owner, with his calculator and all that, asked me where I got this from and asked me uh, how much I paid. I said, probably like 20 bucks, or I couldn't remember what I told him. And he said, can I get it f for 25 from you? I said, no. And then... Uh, how about I give you cash right now, $50, because I want to give it to my wife. It's pretty. It's beautiful. She'll be very happy. I said, no, why would I want that? Then And then he, he said, okay, how about $100? And then he kept following me inside the store. and said, okay, name me your price and I'll give it to you. Because he was just very, very insistent. I said, you have a store which is loaded with thousands of you know jewelry. I mean, why would you want this jewelry? she said he said it's pretty so i was like uh i'm no no i'm not I, i'm a guest i said i'm a tourist i came here to look for things i mean why would i sell this so i so i just left and then the next store again is a it's a proper like it's not a diamonds international but a proper silver jewelry store could be tax score or something another one told uh, asked me you've uh, told me you've got a very beautiful ring and so finally i asked him because i said can you please tell me what the uh i know this is like a cameo style and i asked her him what would what is the material and he said that looks like mother of pearl that looks like mother of pearl but they don't make that anymore you have a very very beautiful ring you have a very special ring you take care of it it's old he told me i'm not sure what it says here it could be uh, it could be uh, oh, what does it say huh i can't i can't read it guys I, yeah so anyway it's like this and i've been wearing it and it's a square like i like it because it has like the square cameo thing okay and i think uh, this has a silver tone um, I might as well just show you what I got. Okay, I'm, I'm, until now, if, if anybody, somebody could just tell me what the material is over here. So I bought this from a um, thrift shop. So after five years of not visiting that, I just love the stones because I used to own a Christian Dior, a vintage Christian Dior, but it has sold since. I think they sold it for like 500 bucks on the real real. I had like a Christian Dior vintage and it was like super super with big stones right now i do not know this is not 925 as you can see um the clasp is very very old and um i'm not sure what though these beads are if anybody can tell me please that would be yeah because i think this could be um from mexico too it's just that it's weird i mean it has that ethnic vibe to it yeah and it's beautiful so there you go guys um maybe i will uh, feature the other uh, jewelry <laughs> things that i brought with me because this is the only time that i get to feature my um, jewelry i have tons of jewelry especially vintage and um yeah and also my my sister also got me this and this is from diamonds international so uh, she knows that I love, um, you know, vintage and um, inexpensive stuff. But she got me this. She told me that's not bling bling. <laughs> that's, that's not a, you know, cheap. She, not <laughs> because she knows how much I paid for this, you know, probably not. <laughs> like, it's not going to be over 50 bucks for, you know, any of these. So she said so it's gonna be my birthday next week so she sent me this she gave me this and she got it from from one of our um ports costa maya from the diamonds international um yeah so there you go guys okay hope you enjoyed this silver um silver presentation
on board the ship. <laughs> okay, bye.